Waco Chemicals would like to thank you for your interest in the Toxinometer ET6000 and our Pyrostar product line. The Pyrostar ESF series of reagents represents our uniquely endotoxin-specific line of LAL products. Our LAL products are formulated to be used either qualitatively as a gel clot reagent or quantitatively as a kinetic turbometric reagent. The toxinometer ET6000 allows for measurement by turbometric, chromogenic, or gel clot method. Once you have received your ET6000, you will find within the box the ET6000 module and the Toximaster QC7 software, along with other items such as power cords, spare fuses, USB connectors, and instruction manuals. In addition, you will receive a Dell laptop optimized for maximum performance when using the ET6000. The ET6000 features standard curve calculation, time course monitoring, and automatic start of measurement upon the insertion of the test tube. This high-intensity blue LED is used within the ET6000 as the light source. The LED passes through the first aperture, the reaction mixture, and finally through the second aperture attached to the silicon photocell. The ET6000 is in compliance with all FDA guidelines, and the Toximaster QC7 software is FDA 21 CFR Part 11 compliant. To help support your usage of the ET6000, Waco Chemicals offers endotoxin-free pipette tips, endotoxin-free test tubes and aluminum caps, and we also offer our Pyrostar ESF reagent in single and multitest. For chromogenic testing, we offer our Limulus Color KY in single and multitest. In addition, we offer standard control endotoxin and lysate reagent water, all products to accompany your usage of the toxinometer ET6000. The QC7 user management tool is used to control access within the Toximaster program on an individual login basis. Now, let's log into the Toximaster program to show you how easy it is to use the ET6000. There are four options upon entering the Toximaster program. We will select Arrange Sample to show the ease of setting your protocol. The options to edit, load, or save a protocol is found on the toolbar as well. We should now turn on our toxinometer as we arrange and prepare the samples for testing. You will notice the heat control LED blinking as the toxinometer reaches the correct temperature. Now that we're ready to begin, let's arrange our sample. There are four test group options to select from. Within the general test group, there are negative control, standard sample, and general sample options. The FDA test group includes these additional sample options. The BET test group includes these additional sample options. And the parallel line assay method includes this additional option. At the bottom of the sample arrangement box, you can find various options for customizing the information about each sample. We will now add the negative control to the sample arrangement in positions 1 and 2. We will now add our standards to our sample arrangement. Prior to adding our sample arrangement, we can enter the parameters of the sample. We'll repeat such steps for two other concentrations of our standard. This will support the standard curve generating within the Toximaster program. Finally, we arrange our general sample. We are able to give further identification to each sample using the Detailed ID button. Once your sample arrangement is complete, click the OK button. You will then click Yes to complete the sample arrangement. Now that your samples are arranged, click the Start Measurement button. You will be prompted by the Start Measurement box for which you can enter commands on your testing. Once you click Start Measurement, the check light intensity will occur. You will be notified when the light intensity check is complete. Your toxinometer should now indicate that the heater is ready at the correct temperature. Upon opening our multi-test kit, you will find four vials of ESF and one vial of CSE. You will now reconstitute the reagent and place 0.1 MLS into each reaction tube. 
We will now reconstitute our CSE to prepare our standard dilutions. We must first add to our CSE the correct amount of lysate reagent water to make 1000 EU per ml concentration. The amount of reagent water necessary to reach this concentration can be found within the CFA for the matching kit. We show here an example for diluting endotoxins, but in this particular test we will only dilute to 0 0.0625 concentration. Our sample or endotoxin solution will now be combined with the lysate reagent to begin the reaction test. Please note the difference of solution added to the lysate reagent based on the single or multi-test use. With our samples now prepared, we will place the test tubes within the toxinometer. Note after each tube's insertion, the beep, as well as the blinking light in the next position. You will now see the sample in position 1 begin to generate data. The data for position 2 will now begin to generate. As each reaction tube is placed within the toxinometer, the data can then be found in the Toximaster program. During our testing cycle, there are many options to view the data the Toximaster QC7 software produces. Using your mouse to select a sample, you can then select Zoom above the Time Course option and see the plot of the sample selected. The same option is available when selecting multiple samples. Notice within the Display Item box the various information that can be displayed for each sample. Sample ID, Activating Time, Elapsed Time, Light Difference Signal, and Light Transmission Rate. Original concentration can also be seen if this data was logged for each sample. As gelation occurs for each sample, you will note the orange LED next to the sample. As we return to our zoom plot throughout our testing cycle, we will note some additional features. You can adjust the data seen in the zoom plot box by changing the numbers within the plot scale. Each sample is represented by a color and shape within the zoom plot. The zoom plot can also maximize to full screen. The data now generated from our standard samples is able to create the standard curve. The lock application allows users to leave their computers safely as the testing cycle completes. When the testing cycle ends, we note that the negative control did not gel. Cycles which have ended without gelation show a blank LED light next to the number of the sample. As our samples continue to gel, we notice the orange lights. As our samples reach the end of the timed cycle, we notice that samples which have gelled during the timed cycle beep and show red next to the sample number. As our samples reach the end of the timed cycle, we notice the data appearing within the sample boxes. We also notice that each sample has reached the end of the zoom plot. We must now select the Stop Measurement option to complete the testing cycle. You will also be requested your account name for logging the results of your test. Now that the testing cycle is complete, we can check the gel clot results of each sample. After stopping the test measurement, you will notice to the left of the sample box the standard curve and group reports now added. To print the zoom plot showing your testing results, open the zoom plot menu and look for the print button in the bottom right-hand corner of the box. The printout of our zoom plot is shown here. By selecting standard curve, you are able to view the plot of your standards See the standard curve created, calculate concentrations, and print the standard curve documents. All relevant standard curve information will be printed on two pages. If additional reagent information was added during the sample arrangement, you will now see that data within the standard curve printouts. You may also select Group Report for printing all information about the testing samples. As well as for the group report, if reagent information was entered when the sample was arranged, it will be printed within the general group report.
Use the Browse Records button to find previous testing results. These reasons and more are why you should select Waco Chemicals USA as your LAL provider.